Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to some more Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. So, in the last video, we finally entered into the Temple of Time, and now we are on to our first temp our new temple. So, Link, don't you think there's something odd about that statue? In the grove, there are always in the temple entry, there were always matching ones on each side, but there's only one here. Why don't you use your senses to take a look around? We gotta transform into wolf and actually see what's going on. And the ghost of the platform used to be there. I knew it. There was one more here originally. We need to find other statue in this temple and match that one. All right. So now what we need to do is we need this temple is a lot about placing um, pots on. Um, buttons so we're gonna have to do that a lot in this temple so if I walk up here there's a switch right here we're gonna drop this on here and that will activate that little platform over there and allow us to walk forward hey look arrows I still haven't gotten my quiver upgrade which I personally don't think I need it so yeah all right let's go ahead and break these pots open nothing else here Hey, look, it's Uku. Arm, not so fast. At last, this is it. This is where I've been trying to get to. The ancient technology of our people sleeps in this place. We've searched all over, and now we're close. I can smell it. Once we find that thing, we can go home at last. Oh, gracious, yes. Arm, young man, we're so close, so please help us find what we're looking for. So, we are reunited with Uku after not seeing her for since the beginning of the game, because I haven't picked her up. Because, personally, like I said, Uku, up until this point, has just be been a teleportation method, but now she's actually playing a part in the story because she's actually going to be a part of the next temple that we're going into, which is the Temple in the Sky. Um, so that's the next realm that we're going to. So yeah. So there's a locked door up ahead, and we can't unlock it unless we go down here and light these two torches, because this is actually where the, the um, chest is at that has the small key. Alright, let's go ahead and open her up. And there we go, we got a small key. Yay! So now we're going to go all the way up here. And unlock the door. Because that door that's locked up ahead is actually entry into the boss room, I believe. So we have these new enemies. They're just like, they're like another version of Tech Tights. They're arachnid. Well, they're, they're spiders, clearly, but um, that is actually kind of similar to what the uh, to what the um, enemy or the boss is in this game. So this is actually going to activate a platform that allows us to open up this chest, which has a bundle of arrows. I'm going to collect all of these chests because why not? So we need to also break that pot. Oh no, it unlocks those two. Okay, so I need to do that again. And if you ever get stuck here, this is the part where you have to actually use breakable pots in order to unlock this. And we need to go forward. And then we need to turn around and grab, shoot the pot and break it. And that will open up the next doorway. So it's kind of like a tricky pat. It's kind of like a tricky puzzle. And there's some more Los Alphos. Oh, I missed. I missed. Hang on. Let's kill him with that at least. Alright, let's go forward. Two more Liz Actually, no, three more. Oh, wow. And a Armos statue. Kill this guy. Yeah, I gotta look cool. So we go forward and open up this chest, and I believe this has a rupee in it. It's okay. This temple I'm actually able to do on my own, so I don't have to look at the guide. It's actually pretty easy to do for me. And then there's this armor statue here, which is actually kind of creepy, to be honest. So this 
um, statue we can actually face by just rolling around it. He, does, he goes crazy like he normally does in Wind Waker and then blows up. Alright. After you defeat him, a chest will appear and I think this will contain the dungeon map. If I remember correctly. It's been a while, but I think this is... Yep, dungeon map. Alright. Alrighty. So now we got the dungeon map and we can see everywhere we need to go in the temple. Yay! So once again, there are... Kill these two keys. Pick up a pot. And set it on down. Well, that's not what I meant to do. No. Place it down. Right there. Alright, hang on guys. My ears are itching. So that hookshot point is actually for us to get back here later on. We don't have to use it right now. Because later on when we get to the other side of that room, um, it, this is going to be locked from the outside so we can't get through. No, not that. Alright. No, get the thing. Shut that down. There we go. Make sure we got everything. Yeah, we got everything. Alright, cool. We could have also used those other, um, those other, um, little metal pot statue things. But occasionally I just use regular pots. And then we have, this is kind of like the central room of the temple. And then we have a bunch of these little ugly, nasty looking spiders that are crawling around down there. Ow, well, damn it. Yeah. One after the other. Alright. So we need to take out these Lizelfos. Ow. There's a lot of them in here. So I can't take them both out. So there's actually a Poe locked back here. So if we wanted to, we could break it up and get the Poe soul. But like I said, I'm not collecting Poe souls, so I don't want to do this. We're also going to kill this Bemo statue over here. And then just destroy it. And it will just deactivate. That's about it. Not much else. So we can't get through this area just yet, so we need to go all the way upstairs and continue on. Oh, I thought I dealt with all of you. Alright, let's keep going. There's another one. There's a lot of Lizelfos in this temple, guys. And a lot of arrows because the bow is going to be used quite a bit in this temple. Hey, look, a spinner point. We can use that. Um, okay, I'm just making sure that there's nothing else I need to get through here. We're going to use a spinner a little bit in this temple as well. This kind of is where all of the um, dungeon items that we've used thus far get start getting used. And they have a bunch of these um, blade things. We need to pick this up and bring this on over here. and set this here. And there's actually one of these other statues that is actually on the very bottom but we can't get it just yet. We gotta pull this lever down. So we're gonna pull it and go, no, I don't need to go up. I gotta go down. We don't need to, well actually no, I think I do need to go this way. Nope, that's actually where the statue is gonna come from. We need to go down. We need to push it that way. It's been a while since I've played so I don't remember exactly where everything goes. Alright. Push it down again. <sighs> to the ground floor where all of these damn spider things are at. 
If we kill all of them, it'll unlock the pathway, which we're gonna have to do, so. Best way to deal with them is to just pull out the hook shot and start blasting. Hey, I put I did not expect to do that. There we go. So we deal with all of them. One more. Actually, no, two more. And that should unlock the pathway. So now we can get up here anytime we want, which is actually more convenient. So we also move that little pot into place. We push it this way. And we go back up. Whee! Up we go and stuff. And we can't yet get to that lock through that locked door, so we have to wait. Whoa, ow. Uh oh. I just messed that up. I messed up the thing. Sorry. We run forward after placing that on there. That will actually allow us to get up here. So now, now we have the next room we have. <sighs> yeah, a um, couple more armor statues inside. We just gotta take these guys out. I don't know how I got hit, but okay. statue, destroy him, and that should make a chest appear, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, chest appears. I believe this has the small key in it. Either that or it's the compass. Because there's another chest over here as well. That we can unlock. Go ahead and open her up, and we get a, a letter. We got the link stamp. I still haven't used the Wii, um, the Miiverse, um, online stuff, because I don't know how many people actually get online with the Wii U anymore. You got a small key. Alright, cool. So that is all of the chests in this temp, in this room. Alright, so now that's all we can do. Let's head on through. Or keep on heading through. <sighs> Um, excuse me, guys. I'm tired. All right. Ouch. That was not my intention. So now we can go through here and unlock the door. And continue on in the temple. So now we have this switch, which we're going to use for the... Uh, to unlock doorways and stuff. We also have an armor... No, not that... Yeah, I kind of deserve that because I don't remember why I had that out. There we go. <sighs> Here we have to shoot this um, crystal a couple of times to basically switch out and get through this area. That's all we got to do. Alright, there we go. And once again, shoot this. Lock that. And then go through again. And do it all over again. And then kill the Beemos statue. Kill the Beemos statue. Shoot the Beemos. What the? There we go, cheese him. I was right on target. And then shoot it once more. Actually, wait, I think there might be something in here that I need. I think there might be a chest. I need to make sure that I check it. I didn't check. Because I can't see anything. There might be a chest in here. If I'm not mistaken. Yes, there is. And it has the compass, which we need, because I need to find all the chests in this temple. There we go. Alright, so now we can finally move on. And now we are done.
later on when we get our power, we'll be able to destroy these um, walls. And we won't have to even worry about this uh, thing. Another Lizafo. He kind of fades through the floor, but okay. Another one. This one has a skull on his head. Kill him, and he's done. We jump forward, and then there is another switch. And there's more of those alphos. We have a regular one here. Actually, no, we have this one, and then we have an armor, armored Lizalfo. This one is tougher to fight. You have to actually get him from behind. And he does not actually go down easily. He doesn't stay down. He's actually more resilient than the other ones. Like I said. So, the best way to do it is to deal with him. To catch him when he's attacking. Whoops. That was not my plan. <laughs> okay. And he is finally defeated. So I like those enemies because they actually pose more of a challenge. They're not as simple to kill. Like the other ones are. So it's so it's entertaining, to say the least. So once again... We have another armored Lizalfos. So, like I said, he'll be he'll be able to get up for most attacks. So he takes a lot more to fight, and I like that. He's more resilient, and I like that about him. He's got spunk, and I like that. So we shoot this one more time, and now we can get through this area. <sighs> I'm tired, guys. I'm sleepy. So we go through this next room. And this is another main area room of the temple, is what I like to say. Kill them all! Kill them all! This is quicker than using my sword. Where are you going, you little shit? Alright, there we go. Kill them all! And a chest will finally appear. Go ahead and open it up, and I think this is a small key. Oh no, purple rupee, okay. So, some hidden treasures throughout the temple, so... That's all for this area. Are we gonna have Oh, excuse me guys, I am very tired. Very sleepy. So right here we have a weight puzzle, which is actually pretty fun. So just one of these things is about a 50 pounds, and then this will actually give us um, more weight. And there's actually a, a, a hard piece up here later on that we need to get. We need to get that chest right there. Um, however, I don't think we can get to it just yet. Dang it. Yeah, I can't grab any of these yet. So, whatever. We'll deal with it later. So we're gonna go forward. <sighs> we're gonna go through the next area and take out the Bemos. So that way it's not on our ass because these uh, blade traps like to uh, screw with us a lot. So they're going to be a pain in the ass along the way. More Lizalfos. Hey! Go down. Mm. 
Whoa, once again, I did that little attack. You guys saw that I did a, a jump attack, kill two of them, and then I did a spin attack. I don't know how I did that. Let's go over here. There's a chest. Let's open it up. And there's a small key. Yay. Got small key. Watch out for this thing. Ow. Should have known that was going to happen. Haha, <laughs> I phased through. You can't hurt me, jerk. Pick up this uh, thing. Set it here. And stop the electricity from flowing. And continue onward. A lot more of these goddamn things. I'm going to use my... Uh, you could use your any weapon you want to take these things out. I just use this because it's quicker. And you don't have to worry about wasting uh, ammunition for your bow or anything else. And then the two armor statues. Oh, okay. Thought that was going to appear after I killed the armor statues, but okay. I'll take it. So you can actually make one of these activated at a time so you don't have to deal with both of them. But they're really slow and they don't really pose much of a threat. Alright, so he's gone. There we go. So then this will unlock the next doorway. And then we can open up this chest. Another purple rupee. Alright, cool. So, that's all done. And now, guys, we're going to go ahead and end the video there. Because in the next video, we will be taking on the mini-boss of this dungeon. So, yeah. So, that is going to do it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.